Like your shirt. Hey. Oh, you don't want to fund the war. Hey. Thanks for speaking. So we're going to be stepping off here in about 10 minutes. I know we've got a lot of people in the morning. I guess i got to go. Yeah, exactly. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. We're marching there. We're going to show you in about 10 minutes. We're going to be marching on the Federal Reserve. So we're going to have a ritualistic destruction of Federal Reserve notes. Somebody have a lighter? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Does somebody have a big portable shredder that we can just now wheel out there? Our teeth! Oh, no, we would need a permit for that. <laughs> Alright, so who's next? Who's ready to step up to the open mic? Tell us why you're here to end the Fed. Hey guys, my name is Michael. Well, the My name is Michael. I, uh, I'm a student in Florida. Graduated just recently. Never had a chance to come out here and, uh, and be disobedient like this before in my life. But I'm really happy to be out here. Well, I I, I was uh, a believer in, uh, in freedom, certainly in liberty. The human beings are born free. We should not be, nor should our children ever be, or our grandchildren, debt slaves, or any private corporations. Being able to print money out of thin air complete nonsense, uh, if you ask me or anybody of this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look behind you, our, uh, our company is here for the day. We have uh, your, your transportation services to take you home after this demonstration have arrived. Just wanted to point that out so everybody knows the, uh, the black bus, the little black bus will be leaving from the Federal Reserve at approximately 1.30 p.m. That's right, that's probably going to follow the march. This is This is what What's what's the alarm? What's what's the emergency? This is Derek J, and here I am in Mordor, the heart of the beast. Uh, as evidence behind me, we've got the Lenko Bearcat, the same one that you'll see in Keene, New Hampshire, come a couple of months. I guess they heard something about people talking about sovereignty, sound money, sounds like terrorist stuff to me. So they just wanted to check it out, make sure everything's okay. And they saw that, no, it's just a bunch of sheeple around here, so everything's fine. So they're just gonna go on their way. But the guy who was talking was really cute, so I wanna go back up and see what, uh, see what he has to say. It's a shame they had to interrupt the cutest guy speaking. Crime man. Oh, hey, thanks, awesome. thanks a lot. Hey, someone who likes the crime spree. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Sean Schreiner. Sean Schreiner. Thanks so much. No <laughs> problem, man. Yeah, how'd you hear about it? Um, I think I actually heard through, uh, heard through uh, Adam Kokesh, actually. Sweet. I'm really glad to hear it. It's either that or uh, Veterans for Ron Paul that might post up on my Facebook, but I'm pretty sure it's Adam. Uh, you got the Veterans for Ron Paul shirt. Yep. Sweet. Were you there? Uh, at the March? March? Yeah, I got a little button right there. Hey, rock on. There it is. Sweet, <laughs> man. Thanks so much. No problem, man. It determines the course of so many of our human relationships, and it's very important that this most sacred, if you will, this most sacred object in our life remains sovereign and not controlled by cartels, criminals.